Today, we are going to be talking about something very special. We're going to be talking about the Capital One 360 High Yield Savings Account. And is it a good savings account? Is it for you? With that being said, let's jump right into the video and let right into the best features of Capital One 360. Now, one thing that I want to be sharing here in this video is that when it comes to interest rate, interest rate is one of those things that you may or may not know, but it will change based on what's happening with the Fed, based on what the Federal Reserve is doing with the interest rates. Right now for Capital One 360, it's 4.35% which is not as high as some other competitors out there, but it's still much higher than an average brick and mortar savings account store. Like we're talking about Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Now, one thing that I love about this one specific savings account is the fact that Capital One does also have branches. They have locations where you can go in person and talk to somebody about your savings account. And that's something that many high yield savings account banks out there don't have we're going to go into those details as we go further into the video. But another downside or one downside that I found with Capital One is that they don't have bonuses for new clients. So if you are someone that's in very motivated and incentivized, hey, if you give me $300 like SoFi, or if you give me a 1% extra on the APY like Marcus by Goldman Sachs, if you give me those incentives, then I will most likely sign up with you. If you are looking for something like that, there will be other competitors out there and you can check the links in the description in the comments for things like that. Also, one thing that I love about this bank account is that they have zero monthly fees. If you have fees in your account, that just ends up eating up the savings that you have at the end of the month anyway. So there's no point. Next thing that we're going to be going over here is the minimum deposit required for opening an account with Capital One 360. And as of right now, it's zero, which I love. It keeps it competitive. It keeps it up there with all the big dogs of the high yield savings account hub or Realm per se. And another good, really good thing about Capital One 360 is the fact that they are insured. They are FDIC insured to $250,000 per account per owner. Now, I'm not sharing here with you. If you are someone that is looking for a savings account, that offers you FDIC insurance up to 2 million or even 8 million. Well, there's SoFi and there's Wealthfront out there that you can look into those organizations if you have more than 250K. Now, another requirement, something to look for in a high yield savings account and something that I put here is also the easy access and transfer of the money out of the high yield savings account to an external bank. Now, if you take your money out of Capital One 360 and you transfer it to an external bank, which is a strategy that I use, not with this organization, but with another one, it takes about two to three, one to three business days. That's very standard. A lot of banks out there that take about this long. Some banks like Discover take 45 business days. That's a little out there for my liking. One thing that I must say here is Capital One 360 does have branches. If you want to deposit your money through a bank transfer, direct deposit, Zelle, which is kind of like Venmo, e-check, electronic check, like check, taking pictures of a check, mobile deposit. If you have a checking account, you also have an ATM. And you not only do you have ATMs and checking accounts with Capital One 360, you also have branches, as I mentioned a little earlier. So if you don't want to wait one to three business days and you say, hey, I need my money right now, you could technically, depending on where you are located, you could transfer money from a savings to a check-in and withdraw money through an ATM that way. Or you could just go straight to a location, to a branch if you live nearby and just take money out that way. So that just gives you the versatility and convenience per se in case of an emergency, things happen in life that we have no control over. So in those cases, then Capital One 360 will have your back with quick money. Now, the other thing to keep in mind here with Capital One 360 is they also allow you to make deposits in stores like Brain read, I think that's how you read that, and also CVS. Not that's something that's a feature that I have not seen with actually any of the other banks that I've looked into, that I've reviewed, that I've researched. Not many banks out there, other than the Capital One, allow you to deposit cash in a store that is not a bank. They allow you to make deposits in the ATMs, but the fact that you can make deposits in the CVS, it just adds a whole new extra layer of convenience. All right, so. A couple of other requirements that I look at when I'm looking for a high yield savings account and that I hope that you find useful. And by the way, if you're enjoying this, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel.
withdrawal frequency. Now, withdrawal frequency, let's put it this way. So if you ask yourself, okay, so how many times will I withdraw money out of my high yield savings account? So hopefully it's zero, right? Because that's the whole point of having a savings account. So you can compound your money, so you can have it on the side, have it for emergencies. So if you're someone that is thinking, okay, I'm going to be withdrawing money from my savings account more than six times per month, then you may start looking into other options out there that give you unlimited withdrawal frequency because Capital One has a six withdrawal frequency. Now, there was a requirement, there was a limit of six withdrawals per savings account. This was a federal regulation, which meant banks until April 2020, they would not allow you to take money out of your savings account more than six times. But in 2020, because of the pandemic and everything that happened, then the Federal Reserve or the Fed came and said, we're not going to regulate this anymore. It's up to banks now. So there are some banks out there that can get away with allowing unlimited withdrawal frequency. But if you're going to be withdrawing money less than six times per month, then you are good to go with Capital One 360. Now, do you have easy access to your money? Yes, with Capital One 360, you can access it online. You can also access it with through through your mobile, which is also online. Go through an ATM, as I mentioned a little earlier. They also have personal branches. So, what I must say here, Capital One 360, even though it doesn't have the highest interest rate out there, it has many layers of convenience. Then it's and if you are someone that just wants to have quick access and just have, have the warm and fuzzy feeling, that you can go to a branch or you can make a deposit through cash. Then Capital One may start being a good option for yourself. Now, when it comes to good interfaces, I'm talking about the mobile application, the website. I have Capital One credit card. I had the Quicksilver credit card. I've had this since 2008, since when I turned 18 years old and time really flies. I never had any issues with customer service. I never had any issues with the website being down or just being clunky and slow. So it's a good interface from my experience with respect to the credit cards. And I'm sure it would be the same for a savings account. They also have human customer service from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So if you are someone that wants to contact customer service like me yesterday, I had to call my bank at 11.30 p.m. Somebody picked up. But if you are someone that it's okay with from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., then Capital One 360, it's already a good option for anyone that is looking for that. Now, when it comes to X factors, and I'm talking about here about, hey, what are customers saying about Capital One 360? The average review score from customers, according to Wallet Hub, is 3.7 out of 5. That's about a 70%, 74% satisfaction rate. And that's after 921 reviews. To me, actually, that's actually not bad. Now, is this established brand? I, I would say so. I would say that it's established brand. It was founded back in 1990, 1994. It's a subsidiary of Capital One Financial Corporation. In fact, I drive by the Capital One headquarters in McLean, Virginia, a couple of times a week. So I'm very familiar, at least with the infrastructure from the outside and also from the, with a couple of the products that I've used in the past. So personally, I have never had bad experiences with them. Now, I would give this a personal score, confidence score of 4.5. Capital One gives me the warm and fuzzy feeling of confidence, comfort, familiarity, trust. I've banked with them for a while. And like I said, I don't think I would ever give anybody a five because there's always some level of doubt what happens to my money. Like, I don't know, that's just like a psychological thing on my own. Like, don't hold it against me. But hey, if the Capital One is a good option for you, is that a question that I want to ask you? Is it for you so far? And let's look at the pros and cons. Like, for example, pros of the Capital One 360 is a well-established brand. It has branches. It has competitive APY of 4.35. It has zero monthly fees, zero money on deposit. You can add cash to your savings through an ATM, CVS, and Walgreens, grain rate by Walgreens. And also, it's also FDIC insured, which is very standard with all the banks that I've, at least that I've reviewed. But of course, whenever you have pros, you also have cons. So when it comes to the cons, you have a low APY compared to other online high yield savings accounts. Like we're talking about Marcus, SoFi, we're talking about Wealthfront. There's also all the banks out there that are offering right at this moment above a 5.0 APY, which is pretty crazy if you think about it, limited customer service. Also, there's no account bonus. So to me, that's a con because there are other competitors that do offer you an account bonus and an incentive to start banking with them. Now, would I recommend this to my mom? And the answer is if my mom is looking for branding for something that she's familiar with, if something that personally I've never had any problems. Also, I never had any problems with their credit cards. They have branches available. They have they helped me establish my credit. So I have this bias towards Capital One already. 
and also customer service is friendly. So if a mom is looking for that and not so much the highest APY, then I would recommend this to my mom. But if my mom is just looking to maximize her savings, if she just wants the highest APY possible, the highest interest out there, then I would unfortunately not recommend this to her. But I completely understand that it's not all about the interest, but if the interest, the highest interest and the bonus is the only thing that you're after, there are other competitors that do offer what you're looking for out there other than Capital One 360. But hey, it's not me for me to make the decision for you. What about you? Does the Capital One 360 speak to you? Let me know in the comments. Let me know also what other options you're considering, what challenges you're facing when you're searching for a high yield savings account. Let me know in the comments. And with that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.